a judge has ordered Fairfax County Police to turn over internal affairs documents for that officer accused of killing an unarmed man. Court documents show Officer Adam Torres shot and killed John Gear during a standoff back in August 2013. But it took until this past month with a court order for Fairfax County Police to release any details on the case. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg has followed this case since day one. He was in court today and he's here now with the newest twist in all of this. Jeff. Allison, we just heard moments ago from the best friend of John Gear, Jeff Stewart, saying that he and the family of Mr. Gear are pleased with today's ruling, saying that authorities must be held accountable in this case. Now, the internal affairs investigation into the shooting started last September, more than a year after the shooting took place. Today in court, a judge ruling that Fairfax County must turn over findings from that investigation, as well as an investigation into an incident that took place here at the courthouse in 2013. Attorneys for the family of John Gear argue that Officer Adam Torres had anger issues, raising questions as to whether he should have been on the street and armed the day he shot John Gear in August of 2013. Documents released last week reveal Torres admitted to having a fight with his wife right before arriving on scene. And in March of 2013, five months before the shooting at the Fairfax County Courthouse, an assistant Commonwealth's attorney testified to having an argument with Torres about a DWI case. He had a total meltdown, Charles Peters said. He was a total jerk to me. Today, the Fairfax County assistant attorney argued that Torres' conduct on any other date is simply not relevant to whether he was negligent on August 29, 2013. But the judge ruled internal affairs findings from the investigation should be released. As for the findings from the shooting, attorneys for the Gear family accused the county of hiding the truth, saying it's smelling of a cover-up, so justice and transparency will be thwarted. In a taped interview after the shooting, Adam Torres told investigators he did nothing wrong. No, it was justified. I, 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 have, no, I have no doubt about that at all. I don't, feel, I don't feel sorry for shooting the guy at all. Documents and in information from the internal affairs investigation must be turned over to the attorneys of the family of John Gear by February 20th. The investigation into the shooting remains in the hands of the U.S. Justice Department. Live in Fairfax, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.